Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is about a brand new game from a brand new developer that I met through the Auto Legends Discord. This developer, I'm not going to try to say the name out loud vocally because I'm probably going to say it wrong because I am terrible at vocals. Uh, yeah, really nice person. We immediately hit it off and I, I would say we could definitely be friends. For sure. Has a history in app creation and game creation. Really awesome person. Uh, through the Google Play Store, through past apps, which are listed below, I'll show you guys. 80,000 installs, 4.8 average rating with 2 million impressions. That's awesome. And a bunch of unique apps and games, GPT Lite, Linear AI, T-Mail, uh, uh, Drag Legends, which is a game I think I tried when it was out. But I don't remember. It only had about a thousand downloads, which I think it deserved more from what I saw. But oh well. A uh, battery health check. I could actually use this app for work. I need to hit him up about it. Dark Notes. Oh, that's that sounds like a pretty cool app. Dark Notes is a secure mobile app that allows you to store your secrets and notes in the cloud with unlimited storage. It features a simple and intuitive interface. That's Simple and smart. People need that. Chat GPT quick link and a quick browser with a buy me the coffee at the bottom. That's awesome. But anyway. Yeah, Unity, G Develop, FL Studio, that's awesome. Ah, located in Italy. That's really cool. But anyway, I wanted to talk about a new game that's being developed. The Discord only has, I think, five or six members in it. If you guys want to join it, uh I'll make sure it's okay first, but I'll probably put a link down below. Uh, there's a beta APK on the Discord for anybody to try the game. So that new game is called Sunset Racers. I did modify the APK to have a million dollars. That's only because I want to be able to show you guys pretty much everything up front. But let's give it a go. So the art style of this game is kind of a like a low poly esque racer that has high performance in mind as far as like frame rates and things like that on any stable mobile device i gave the idea on discord uh while first playing the beta on my phone rather than here in the emulator of controller support and seemed to really actually like that idea because i mentioned playing this through an android tv box with friends and I don't know if you can hook up multiple controllers to an Android TV box, but even if you're playing like multiplayer drifting via just the internet and set up like a private race room or something, and one person's playing on the TV while everybody else is on their mobile devices, like that could be really cool. Or even have a turn by turn thing, I guess, would be really cool too. But here we are in the game settings. You can control your quality and your control type. Uh, statistics tells you like your best uh, total drift, your uh, your best total total drift, best drift, race time, and total driving distance. I think it would be cool to have other things like favorite car, things like that listed here. Uh, favorite car to use. As you can see, shooting for 90 FPS stable, which I definitely think it's hitting that. But let's go into it. So there are two different race modes. There's drift and there's race. I personally prefer the race mode. I just like the control scheme of racing a little bit more. I've never really been good at drifting games, so they've just never really been my cup of tea. But the racing, I very much enjoy the racing already. As you can see already, just looking at this screenshot, like, yes, it's low poly, but it's low poly that looks really good. It's done very well, especially with the shadows and the way the lighting is done. So there's race, and then there's a couple other tracks. From talking to the developer on Discord for a short time, um, 50 total races are planned with multiplayer support and uh, with online multiplayer. So, yeah, there's only four right now and a couple of cars, but a lot more is planned for the game. So we're going to go in first, and I'll show you guys racing. And I'll show you guys all the cars real quick. There's the Torino. <clears throat> sorry. The Fair Lady, 
the which actually is an unlockable. You have to unlock it by taking first in stage one drift. You can't buy it. That's cool. I love games that actually give you a reason to play certain things. And then you unlock things that way. This is old school gaming at its finest. I love it. You could buy the Stratos, which the Stratos is a very cool looking car. Buy the Focus, the Evo. Beat Stage 2 Race. Uh, you get the Camaro. Awesome. Mustang Boss. And my favorite car ever, the McLaren F1. I really hope there's some form of customization. I want to put a big wing on it and make it the F1 LM. But, uh, you know, whatever. Maybe in a future video I'll talk about what things would I like to see added to a game like this. But right now, this is fun. It's awesome. Little description, excellent car for performing long drifts, lightweight and excellent grip. Also suitable for speed racing in narrow tracks. It is a rear-wheel drive car and has five gears. Awesome. Gives you a little rundown of specs. Control just maxed out, but power and mass, pretty cool. Let's go for a race. So we're going to rev off the line. There is emulation support for this game. Uh, right now I'm using W to uh, accelerate and the arrow keys to turn. So kind of an old school game feel here. Oh, we're getting past. Oh my god, I'm going to roll. Uh, is there a way out of it? Oh, heck yeah, good. Well, now I'm really far behind. I was basically in first. But yeah, no, this game is so much fun. The sound doesn't work through emulator for some reason. I don't know if my emulator is muted. It shouldn't be. I checked my Windows settings. The emulator is not muted. But for some odd reason, I'm not getting sound through emulator. But sound does work on my phone. So I don't know what's going on there. But... The track layout, awesome track layout. I would like to see some elevation changes. I said this video wasn't going to be things that I want to criticize. God damn it. I'm not good at that. I need to work on that if I want to do reviews of games and stuff like that. This game, it, it, I love how it looks. The low poly. I've always been a sucker for low poly games. I don't know what it is. Low poly with good lighting, it just it just hits me right in the, like... N64 PS2 era is what it feels like to me, and I love it. I love that the little road sign is like a spot in the road you have to avoid because it's there forever. It doesn't despawn like other games do, but if you restart the race, obviously it'll go back to where it needs to be. Oh my god, I'm so far behind. There is no catching up. This AI is set to kill mode today. But we will finish the race right here. Awesome. As you can see, I got race time of 155.30, best lap 53, gained 800 bucks. Awesome. Let's go show you guys uh, drifting. Give me one second. Getting over a sinus infection. Oh my god. Trust me, this sucks. Anyway, let's go drifting. We're going to see how I do with this. Drifting games are difficult for me. But as you can see, it does slide really nicely, actually. I need to work on it a lot. It's something that'll take me a long time to get good at. Drifting games, the only one I've ever been good at is that Car X Drifting. And even then, I'm barely good at it. Like, I've beaten every campaign with a gold medal. But... That's as far as that game ever went for me. Oh my god, stay off the wall. Look at the McLaren going sideways and backfiring. Dude, more games need backfire. More games need backfire. Alright, there we go. I'm off the wall. It's the throttle control that I really need to work on, I think, when it comes to drifting. Oh boy. I think you need to be penalized if you go off track. I don't think it should matter if you dip like one wheel or your back wheels off the track, but if you straight up just cut across the grass, that should be penalized. Wow, there is an airplane flying really low over my house right now. But there's this game is definitely really cool. 
I really like this. I'm really excited to see where it goes. This is a game I could see myself playing a lot. The AI is just... They woke up and chose violence, I swear. But this is so much fun. I really want to get good at the drifting in this game. It's not quite too much, but definitely has a learning curve. Like, you could win, I think, if, you know, play it for longer than half an hour and you'll probably get really good at it. At least good enough to win. But at the same time, oh my god, I am not good at drifting. I'm glad that little sign didn't kill me. This is so much fun. Even just in this video alone, you could see me get better. I've never gotten a time 7 multiplier in drifting before on this game. Granted, I've only been playing it for maybe about 30 minutes so far. Came in third. That's not terrible. But yeah, let's uh, let's unlock my favorite car of all time, the McLaren F1. And see what I can do. Let's go racing in the F1. Oh, it's got backfire. I love it. Oh my god. I, oh my god, the understeer. Uh... Okay. We'll try a different car as well. I want to definitely try everything. I love the look of the Stratos. The Stratos is such a cool car. Um, grass cutting. And it's not making a lick of difference because I'm not fast. Oh. I mean, this is a 240 mile an hour car in real life, right? What can I hit on the straight up here? Let's find out. Because I love the McLaren F1. Let's definitely oof, find out what we can do here. <clears throat> well, if I'm grinding the wall, I guess it doesn't matter. I wonder what race units he's kind of using. Is it mile per hour or kilometers? I guess it really doesn't matter. Because, I mean, you have games like Trackmania that make up their own unit. Where, like, you could be going... 800 plus on a speed track so i guess it really doesn't matter the speed unit you're using as long as it feels good and balanced in this game definitely i like the way the cars control i like the physics behind this game after drifting though it's really weird to switch back and forth so quickly oh man but yeah this game is definitely fun I really am enjoying it. Oh boy. Dude, putting some jumps on tracks could be so much fun in this game. The way I just got air, it felt really good. Strange enough to say. Let's unlock one other car. This is an all-wheel drive. He told me about all-wheel car, all-wheel drive cars when I was messaging him. Let's see how the all-wheel drive car feels in drifting because he specifically mentioned all-wheel drive. Oh yeah. Oh, the all-wheel drive is where it's at. Oh, I love it. It's way more difficult than that Truino. But man, is it fluid. Oh, I love it. Okay, the F1 is flying. But man, is this fluid. He was right. The all-wheel drive cars are fantastic. Oh, this feels great. Okay. Dude, he, I'm a fan. Oh, okay, did not mean to cut across the grass. Uh, whoops. I wonder what the multiplayer or multiplier clocks out at. What's the top? Probably 10. Okay, I'm taking the sign with me. The highest I've gotten so far is 7. You definitely need to, like... It, there's definitely a throttle control and turning control you have to learn. Oh, 9. Dude, that was such a... I just ruined my entire drift of the entire race. Oh, no. The rage quit that I want to... 
Oh my god. Alright. Well, that's okay. It happens. Let's see what I can get back before the end of this race. Because I'm almost done with it. Dude, the all-wheel drive cars feel so good. I was not drifting this well in the Truino. Woo, stay away from that fence, you stupid. Let's see, can I break 20? Oh my god, first place just broke 100k. Okay. They deposited that check to the bank, holy crap. So I got 26,000. Let's do one more. Let's do one more race. I want to try to link up together an entire race of drifting. Or at least deposit a good giant drift. Like a times 8 or a times 9. It looked like it maxed out at times 9. Which I'm okay with a crash early on. But this game is so much fun. For the just early access, this early beta with only a couple races, I am thoroughly impressed. I cannot wait to see what this dev brings to the table in the future of this game. I will say, I was going to keep criticisms or like suggestions out of this video, but I think I can do it all in one. Definitely what I think would be some cool improvements would be some form of Ah, oh, no, of car customization. I know that's kind of difficult with models like this, but simple paint, simple wings, uh, maybe even just simple engine upgrades to gain slight power. Make the cars maybe a little bit more expensive to unlock so that car upgrades make more sense. You know, add some wheels for different rim types, and you can make them different weights even. That would be really cool. Um, I'm trying to think. Obviously the different race types. I would like to see at least one drag racing track. I think just for the fun of it to see how fast your car is and truly understand it. I mean, he has a past of making a drag racing game anyway. Why not have some form of an homage to it in this game? You know? Could be really cool trying to think anything else i don't really have that many criticisms i can't wait for multiplayer i definitely want to play this with some friends can't wait f i hope there's some elevation changes and stuff like that in racetracks i hope not every track is just flat like this i hope there's one like really arcade race too where maybe there's some jumps and stuff like that um you know maybe almost a track mania feel where oh hey i came in first I came in first because I finished before everybody else. That's probably kind of a bug. Probably shouldn't get their scores until they finish. But uh, anyway, what I'm thinking is like Trackmania style, quote unquote, where it has camera triggers. So like if you're in a really super arcadey race that has loops and jumps, it'll auto switch you into first person like front bumper cam. And you'll go around the loop so you can see where you're going. And then maybe like on-road boosters could be cool. I don't know what kind of realism of physics versus arcade that the developer's going for. These are just ideas that are floating through my mind for how this game feels right now in ways that I think could take it to the next level. Car customization, some cool arcade-style racetracks. Um, I think it would be cool to see what Midnight Club called unordered races, but I don't know how that would work with the ai it's basically like a city grid you make your own path but you have to get all the checkpoints and then get to the finish whoever does it quickest wins the race there's so much you can do on this the multiplayer is going to be awesome but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll leave a link in the description to the discord for this game there's only like five or six people there you know Show the devs some love. This game's going to be awesome. I can't wait for it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.